This tutorial is for users wanting to create a BibTeX file for LaTeX documents from the EndNote Reference Manager. This is not an auto-syncing method, so once the BibTeX file is created, to add a reference, um, an entirely new BibTeX file will need to be formed. The first step is to create an EndNote library with your required references. The size of the BibTeX file would not be an issue when forming your final LaTeX document. So if you are unsure whether or not you will use a reference, it is a good idea to add it just in case. Before starting the process to create the BibTeX file, we need to prepare our references by adding a citation key for the LaTeX document to read. This is something that needs to be added manually. To do this, we need to add a label which will form our citation key. To add a label, double click on your required reference and scroll down to the label section. Many sources recommend that your citation key should be in the form of author, year, although you can call them whatever suits your style best. Please repeat this labelling action to every required reference. It is not something that will be updated after you create your BibTeX file, unless you wish to recreate your BibTeX file from scratch. Now, to prepare the library for a BibTeX export, we need to change the output style. Head to the Edit tab, select Output Style from the drop-down list. Now, the first time you do this, you will have to open the Style Manager, then search for the BibTeX export style. Ensure the appropriate style is ticked, then exit the pop-up screen. The output style will not automatically be changed, so to change it to be in a BibTeX form, head to the drop-down box and select the BibTeX export style. Next, select your required references by highlighting. You can either select all by using the Ctrl and A buttons, or by holding down the control button and using the mouse to select the required references. Then head to the File tab and select Export from the drop-down list. A pop-up screen will appear to save the file. To save it in BibTeX format, you can name the library anything you want, then change the extension from .txt to .bib. The next really important step is to ensure that you save the file into the same folder that you have already saved your pre-prepared LaTeX document. To ensure that your BibTeX file has saved correctly, let's open the folder that I saved my .bib file into. As you can see, it's in a BibTeX format which consists of an at symbol followed by the type of reference, the citation key, then the remainder of the reference's information. Thank you for listening to this tutorial. For more information regarding EndNote, BibTeX or LaTeX, please refer to the Managing References in LaTeX LibGuide located on the library homepage or contact your school's librarian.